Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, my brothers and my sisters, for wherever you are watching me from. How are you all doing today? I know you are fine to the glory of the Lord. Yes, I know you are fine. If today is your first time of being here in this channel, you are welcome. My name is Sister Divine. You can be free to call me divine. Free to be you. That is what God wants. If you are not free, you are not you. Hallelujah. Today, I want to be asking us some questions. What plan did you plan for this year that you have escaped, that you've procrastinated, you, 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 you just escape, you, you escape it all through? What is that plan that you had that you escaped it all through? What is that vision that God gave to you? What is that assignment that God gave to you that you escaped it all through? When I say escape, maybe God has given to you, go and evangelize. And evangelism is not for one person, it's for us. But maybe God said, you have not been doing it, I want you to be doing it. Maybe God put business in your hands to do. Maybe God put something in your hands to do. Have you escaped it? Did you escape it? You know, sometimes we procrastinate to escape some certain things. Mm, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to write. I can't speak English. I can't do that. You use it to escape. What you have to do now, as this year is coming to an end, you have to say, this year that is coming, all the things that I have to do, I must do it. I must set a target for myself. I must challenge myself that I can do it through Christ that strengthens me. Because the Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. If, for example, God has sent you that, that your neighbor, you are the one that will show that your neighbor how to read and write. You have been afraid to sit down. How am I going to go about it? How am I going to go and meet her? How am I going to go and meet him? No, I can't do this. I can't do that. No. Procrastination is not good. Okay, maybe you say, no, ah, last year, 2018, I was so done. I, I said I want to start this Sakara business, but later I was just procrastinating. procrastinating. No, this is another new year. When you know what God has put in your hands to do, don't procrastinate. Don't draw it. Don't say no uh, tomorrow, next tomorrow. You don't do that. You don't do that. Do you know that when you look at your age now, you have added one year to your age. The way your age is last year is not the way it is right now. You might cover some things up with makeup. You might cover a lot of things up, but you cannot cover time. Time waits for nobody. When God assigns you to do something, you have to do it. But if you have not done it, it's not still too late. Want to enter new year. You have to say, this is what I have to do. This year, I said I want to start a car business. I said I want to start a Gary business. I said I want to start this shop. I said I want, I, I want to hold a shop. I want to uh, uh, be a teacher. I want to be this. I said it last year. I didn't do it. But this year that is coming, I have to do that. Whatever that you have, you have escaped through laziness, through weakness, through, through some unfriendly friend around you. Why I say a friendly friend is that there are some things that you want to do. You know you can do it, but when you are around negative people, they will not boost you to do it. Rather, they want to talk you down, not to do it. You have to say to yourself, this new year that we are going, God help me. To meet that friend, direct me to that person that will help me to boost that thing that you are putting in me to come alive. Don't be leaving your dream in your house. Don't be leaving your dream in your bedroom. As a woman, we have a lot of things that God has given to us. We have a lot of gift in us. God has blessed us with a lot of heavenly blessing. We are blessed. We are blessed. 
He has said to us, when you read Genesis 1 verse 28, he says, God bless us and he said to us, go and be fruitful, multiply, subdue the head, have dominion over the fish of the sea and over everything that creepeth upon the sea. God has given us that blessing. When you are not using the blessings of God that God has given to you, you just sleep and you just wake up. You just sleep and you just wake up. Even in your house, you say, okay, I'm going to arrange this place. No, no, you just push it under your bed. You procrastinate. No, you don't need to do that. If you target, you want to clean your house, get up and do it. Don't push some shoe under the bed and say, no, maybe tomorrow, maybe next. You'll be procrastinating all those things. No, I want to start school. I want to do this. This year, you have to write a lot of things that you have escaped through this year that you did not do. That you escape through your laziness or, or through your fear. Sometimes our fear can make us not to do some certain things. Yes, when I say fear, I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes our fear can make us to not to do some certain things. No, do you think I can do it? Do you think I, I can be able to do it? Do you think I speak well? Do you think I talk well? Do you think I speak English well? Do you think I read well? Do you think that people will understand me? People will understand you. People that God want, to, want them to understand you, they will understand you. Just come out and live your dream. You are special the way you are. This new year that you're going, I want you to, to say no. Not a competition with anybody, but a competition with yourself that I can do it through Christ that strengthens me. You can do all things. It's you that is just looking it that way. You can do all things. God has given you that power to do all things. He says he will bless the work of your hand. Start something next year that God will bless don't go and stay and be doing, you are doing fasting, you are doing that, you are doing, you are praying, you are doing that. There is nothing that you are doing that you want God to bless. When God says we bless the work of our hand, God is waiting for the work that is in your hands to, be, to bless. This year that we are going to go into, year 2020, year 2020, say to yourself, I have been procrastinating. I have been saying no. This year, 2020, I am going to do that assignment that God has given to me. I'm going to do that passion that is in me. I'm going to do that zeal that I have towards my destiny. I am going to do it. God, bring those people that will help me, that will support me. If you are waiting, another thing I'm going to say is that if you are waiting for somebody to support you before you start, you might wait, even to your old age. But you yourself need to start and pray for God to bring people that will support you. And you yourself, support people, pray for people, love people, help people to pray for their vision, help people to boost their vision. You will see God bringing your own truth. God says, iron sharpens iron. That is what the Bible says. We are meant to sharpen each other. What you know that you want to do, you are afraid to start. Look for somebody around you that you know is doing that kind of thing that you want. Say, please, can you support me? Can you help me to do this? I have been, I have been staying back. I think I cannot do this. But now, I see you. I was encouraged to do that. I see you. I was encouraged to start. Please, can you help me? You will see when you pray before you go and meet that person. God will make that person to just help you. I pray for God to give you that strength, that zeal, that boldness to say this year, 2020, I am going to do what you asked me to do, God. I am going to do it. I will never procrastinate anymore. I will never use laziness to stay away from some certain things, some certain things that you have sent me. God, I, I ask for that power. I ask for that knowledge for you to give me. I pray for you this moment. May God give you that power, that knowledge that you ever asked for in Jesus' name. 
I pray. Amen. I love you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. The year of greatness, the year of joy, the year of a overcomer. Happy New Year. Stay blessed. Your New Year, remember, leave it right. Don't say you are enjoying your New Year. You drink and you don't know yourself anymore. Take care of yourself. I love you. Bye-bye. It's not over, but you got to say soon. You are bound to win and you will win. Take care.